The impact of sea lice on wild salmon, once again being debated on, up and down Vancouver Island, this time by researchers who say fish farms are not to blame for the decline in wild salmon stocks. There's a new study out today that says the collapse of the salmon runs in the Broughton Archipelago in 2002 was not caused by sea lice, contrary to what most opponents of fish farms believe. As A-News reporter Gord Kerbis shows us, the aquaculture industry welcomes the findings, but a leading environmentalist calls the study outrageous. For years, they have been the focal point of the debate over B.C. fish farms. Sea lice are naturally occurring marine parasites that farm opponents claim have decimated wild salmon stocks. But a report released today says the opposite. There is no significant association with the lice numbers on the juvenile salmon as they migrate past um, into the ocean and their returns. Sonia Saxida is with the B.C. Centre for Aquatic Health Sciences in Campbell River. Over the past two years, she and two other researchers from universities in California and Alaska studied what effects sea lice from salmon farms had on wild salmon, studies that have been undertaken before but using different methods. A lot of the problems with the previous research is that they didn't have farm sea lice data, which we were able to get into the study. Also, we tended to look at a longer period of time. We actually looked at 10 years worth of data versus just one or two years. The results were published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science Journal. Saxida and her colleagues knew right away their findings wouldn't be accepted by everyone. The salmon farming industry offered up data going back to the year 2000, knowing it would be a key component to the research. Well, I'm quite pleased to see the work done. I think it's important. I think it makes an important contribution to the debate about salmon farming. I think it points for some future directions for research when learning about wild salmon. The study and its methods are already being discounted by fish farm opponents like Alexandra Morton. She made some rather extraordinary statements, and one of them was that uh, these young salmon with the lice on them uh, must have died from something other than the lice. If these authors want to propose that these fish died of something else when they had holes in them and were bleeding from lice, uh, they need to tell me what that was. Morton also questions the fact that data was given to the team of three researchers, something her group hasn't been able to get access to themselves. But they gave it to this team here and that they, this team found a result that is so different from the rest of us, uh, it, it does make me wonder why they picked this group. Meanwhile, Saxita says their methods and data are open to anyone to scrutinize through the Science Journal. If other researchers want to look at and reevaluate, they're more than welcome to. That is the purpose of science. In Campbell River, Gord Kervis, A News.